Welcome back to the Microlearning Institute. In this short tutorial, we look at the topic of organisational structure and specifically the work of Henry Mensberg in this area. In 1979, Henry Mensberg, in his book The Structuring of Organisations, developed a model which showed what he called the five, five basic parts of the organisation. And here we have the model and we can see that at the top of the organisation we have what Mintzberg calls the strategic apex and then through the organisation we have the middle line supported by the support staff and the techno structure and at the lower end of the organisation we have what Mintzberg referred to as the operating core. So these five basic parts, the operating core is that's the basic work of producing the organisation's products and services gets done here. The strategic apex this is the home of top management and senior management who decide the strategic direction of the organization. The middle line is where managers who stand in direct line relationship between the strategic apex and the operating core or middle management. The techno structure is the staff analysts who design the systems by which work processes and outputs are standardized in the organization. And finally, we have the support staff and these are specialists who provides support to the organization outside of its operating workflow. So these are the five basic parts of the organization that Mintzberg identified. Now, when we're trying to restructure the organization, we come across some generic issues with respect to Mintzberg's model. Firstly, in restructuring, the strategic apex is pushing for more alignment and centralization. Whereas in contrast to this, middle managers in restructuring try to protect their own autonomy and they want room to run their own business unit. The techno structure in times of restructuring pushes for standardization and it believes in measurement and monitoring and strict process. The support staff, on the other hand, they prefer less hierarchy and more collaboration. So again, let's look more closely now at the five organizational structures. And again, these are the simple structure, the machine bureaucracy, the professional bureaucracy, the divisionalized form, and what Mintzberg called an ad hocracy. So firstly, let's look at the simple structure. So here in Mintzberg's diagram of the simple structure, you can see that all is here, all that's here is the strategic apex directly linked to the operating core. There's very little evidence of any middle line in this structure and very little evidence of any techno structure or support staff. So the strategic apex here, it directs supervision. It provides vertical and horizontal centralization. This is a simple and dynamic model and sometimes it can be hostile. And again, it suits perhaps an entrepreneurial firm where you have the leadership team and then you have people who are operating at the core of the organization delivering the work. So this is the simple structure. Next, we can have a look at what Mintzberg referred to as the machine bureaucracy. And here we can see we have a strategic apex. We have the emergence of what Mintzberg calls the middle line. And now here we have the emergence also of some support staff and some techno structure as well as an operating core. So here now, the techno structure, these guys are looking to standardize work processes. This is a simple and a stable model. And again, it suits things like mass production firms, service firms with simple, repetitive work. So this is a machine bureaucracy. The next type of model that Mintzberg identified was what he called a professional bureaucracy. And this is the way he illustrated visually the, the professional bureaucracy. So we can see we've got quite a lot of support staff, not a lot of techno staff, a strategic apex, a small amount of middle line, and quite a substantial operating core. Again, here we have an operating core, we have a standardization of skills, and we have vertical and horizontal decentralization. This can give rise to a complex but stable organization. So organizations that have this type of format include things like schools, social work agencies, and perhaps accounting firms. Next, we look at what Mintzberg calls the divisionalized form. And here again, we can see independent entities of, of Mintzberg's model, 
all encompassed in one overarching divisionalized structure which has a significant amount of support staff, a little bit of techno structure and a strategic apex. Here we have a middle line with limited vertical decentralization but standardization of outputs. It's relatively simple and stable and it helps us to compete in diverse marketplaces and this form suits large corporations, large multinational corporations, and it also suits governments where you have, you know, each department of government is specialized in its own way and has its own strategic apex, support staff, techno staff, middle line and operating core. But all of those individual departments then refer into an overall government structure, which in turn has further support infrastructure and a little bit of uh, techno structure. The final model that uh, Mintzberg identifies was what he called an adhocracy. And again, here we can see how he drew the adhocracy. And again, what this is, is that we've got some support staff and we have mutual adjustment and selective vertical and horizontal decentralization. This model is, supports a complex and dynamic type of business. So again, businesses like consulting firms, advertising agencies, chemical firms and space agencies where they can grow significantly when a new contract is awarded but then they have enough uh, variability in their structure to be able to contract significantly after the contract has been delivered. So in conclusion, Mintzberg said that the organization's structure represents the organization's effort to align its internal processes with its external environment while balancing a range of structural dilemmas. Mintzberg said that structural configurations align with different tasks and different environments. And again, changes in this environment pressure organizations to realign their structure. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial on the work of Henry Mintzberg in the area of organizational structure.